Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the video, and I was going to wait to do another tier list video, but um, I just found this one right after doing the culture video, so I was like, why not, let me do it real quick, and then we're going to go back to our, uh, you know, mechanics video feature and like tip videos, but let's do one more tier list, I'm going to do more in the future, but just like for right now, I'm going to pause after this one, okay, and also there's no AC in my house currently, so I'm like burning up, and you might hear like a little fan in the background, it is what it is like it's literally like 80 something degrees it's i might have to sleep outside but regardless let's uh let's get right to it so this is a tier list of like the best troops but like tier, i see the tier six troops and i think uh a bunch of the tier five troops not all the tier five troops because there's actually a lot of them they start like right here and then just all the scroll right over here but tier six i think all the tier six troops are there so uh, I think this one's going to be more interesting. We're going to see what gear they have. I'm going to um, pretty much talk about my experiences with this, with said troop and if they've destroyed me in the past and how strong they are. And, uh, you know, obviously I, I've played with almost all of these troops. Yeah, pretty much all these troops. So um, I can kind of like tell you which ones survived more of the times and all that, right? But all right, let's get right to it. So the names are a little bit small, but uh, I'm going to try to read them out to you. So the first one is the Azrai Mameluk Heavy Cavalry. It is this one right over here. There it is. Okay, so what does he have? He is an archer, tier five horse archer. That are, that already low key puts him already pretty high. Horse archers are very good regardless of who they are. What kind of bow does he have? Tier four bow. Okay. Tier 4 arrows, those are really strong. And he got a shield, not bad. And his body armor is, is alright. So, in terms of like, uh, this is the best type of uh, archer. As you can see, the bow skill, riding skill, pretty high up there. And one hand is pretty high up there as well. So, even if he gets knocked off the horse, he's not bad. So, with that being said, I'm going to put him... Huh... Let me see. Going S, then A. So, okay, okay. Huh. I think I think he's an A. I think he's an A. I think that might be too fast to put him into an A. But what you're going to see in this uh, pretty much tier list, you're going to see pretty much the most of the horsemen and the horse archers are going to be up here. With some exceptions. But usually infantry troops and archers... They don't compete as much to the mounted troops, you know? And I'm going to try to, like, talk, like, if this one was to go against, you know, other troops, what it would survive. If it was, like, a free-for-all, right? For example. Just the speed. Next, we have is the Azrai Mamluk Palace. So, I think it's this guy right over here. Palace Guard. There he is. So, very heavily armored. Two-handed axe. So, if he gets close, he's doing damage. Throwing weapons to get closer. Okay. Stronger armor than the last guy by a lot. But he's infantry. Very good athletics, very good two-handed, very good throwing. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no shield, though. Shield is kind of important for AI. I don't know why I went all the way over here. Uh, okay, the heat's getting to me. So this guy... Uh, but he's really good. Like, he's super tanky. Like, if you're talking about a siege situation... You kind of want this guy, but he has no shield still. So he's not going to dodge much archer shots, but at the same time, he has a lot of uh, health. I want to eventually move some of these up and down, just depending on how much more we get on the uh, board, right? Next up is the Azrai Master Archer. Azrai Master Archer. There he is. All the way down here. Tier 5 units. Okay. He has a uh, step recurve bow. So he has a, a pretty much a bow that most of the time um, mounted troops have. Long bows is usually what really good um, land archers have. So he doesn't have the best of bow. Okay. Medium armor. Medium armor. And if we're talking about stats. Bow skill is actually very, very good though. One handed pretty good too. When someone gets close. Um, overall, I can't keep backing out. Um, 
He's not the best archer. If we're talking about by, just by archers, he's not even close to the best archer. Um, he has very kind of like medium to light armor, so he gets killed very quickly by horsemen. Um, he has good bow skill, but we're going to see, you know, what the other bigger bow skills have so we can... But he's probably going to be a C. He's not terrible. Uh, no, he's not terrible. See, it's kind of weird to put like um, all like an F category and E category for this because it's like... These are all the top tier guys, you know what I mean? But I guess out of all the top tier guys, he's actually not that good if we think about it. Okay, I'm going to rethink how this tier list is made. So, uh, it's going to be in proximity to everybody else. Like, who can beat everybody else? Master Archer, he does have range. Okay, I'm going to put him at D. I'm going to put him at D. Not the best Archer, not the best Armor. Um, a lot of these horsemen kind of roll over him. And I'm pretty sure even this Mamluk Palace Guard probably rolls over him. He'll probably take enough shots and then, you know, get to him. Next is the Azrite Vanguard of Ferris. Veteran Ferris. Yes? Or is it the Tier 6 one? It is actually the Tier 6 one. So this one right over here. All right, uh, armor's insane. It's kind of like the same as the infantry guy, but now he's on a horse. Tier six. He has a lance. He could probably do the couch lance maneuver, which is a lot of guaranteed kills. Also a shield, so as he's charging, he can put the shield up as well. Throwing weapon and a one-handed. He's an all-rounder. Riding skill, one-handed skill, polearm skill, throwing skill. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, that guy, oops, sorry about that, clicked the wrong thing, I'm telling this, he's about to take me out, like, Lily about to take me out, try to make sure I click on the right thing, there we go, um, I don't think he's S, but he's up here, he's A, he's definitely A, probably above the cavalry archer, to be honest with you. He has throwing, he has a one hand and he has a pole arm and he has a shield. That's kind of crazy. That's a lot that's a lot of that's a lot to work with. Next up is the Azrai Veteran Infantry. Let's see it. Veteran Infantry. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like pretty heavy armor. Yep, yep, yep. And the four actually 52 is kind of crazy. Would be the best armor we've seen so far. Tier 5. Okay, one-handed shield, pole arm as well, which is cool. You could probably get people off of horses and throwing. Very high athletics. Okay, so you could take out some good hideouts with this guy. Um, probably in the same category. He might be better though. He's definitely better, actually. He has a weapon. He could attack you from distance. Oh yeah, he's better. He's technically better than this guy. I'll keep I'll keep him B for right for right now. We'll see. We'll see. Next is the Battalion Fion Champion. This guy is a beast. Let me see where he's at. Where is he at? Where is he at? There he is. Tier six. Very very good. Okay, armor. Still pretty good armor. Me medium medium to to pretty strong 50 hell on the helmet is kind of crazy so not really really okay armor medium heavy uh woodland longbow longbow he has a tier 5 longbow tier 4 bodkin stack that means there's a lot more to stack them out look at that 64 he signs with 64 and then he also has a two-handed weapon when people get close which does insane damage um, it's, I think everybody knows where he's going. He is, that is an S tier unit. That is one of the best archers in the game. The fact that he has a two handed as a backup. Also, you know what I mean? Two handed, but also has 60, starts with 64 arrows on a long, on a tier five longbow. Insanity. He is aimbot, really. Next is the Batanian Horseman. Batanian Horseman. All right. Where are you at? Where are you at? Right over here. Riding cool, one-handed cool, pole arm cool. Okay. Uh, his he has a spear. 
pretty long. All right, all right. Uh, pretty good shield. No, not really good shield. Kind of like a circular shield. See on the back right there. And then a one-handed axe. Axe sucks because the weapon length is 68. Like, you can't really... That... But then you have the spear for the long range, so I get it. But, like, the axe is still so short. Armor-wise, he has, like, medium. Medium armor, like... Oh, I, I forgot to check the, the mounts. The mounts out. I should check those out. But, oops. Um... I'm gonna put him at B plus because I think the axe is really kind of trash. If he had like a one-handed like uh, sword, he could probably reach further, but he's gonna lose to a sword because it has more length to him, even if it's versus an infantryman. So if he gets stuck in a big group, yeah, it's not gonna be great. But Tan mounted skirmisher. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Right. Riding great, one-handed great, and throwing very, very great. Jesus. Very good at throwing, but only has one stack. Only has five javelins, but I'm pretty sure if he lands all that, that's, a, that's five kills right there. Okay. Same horse as the last guy. He heavier armor. Medium heavy armor. A large shield as well. So he, he so he gets close by using his javelins, and then he runs into a uh, fight with his one handed. So he doesn't really have like a charge back formation where he like he hits and then runs away, hits and then runs away. So he kind of dies quicker than the rest, really. But, like the ones that have spears and stuff, they're gonna keep running away and keep taking uh, kind of calculated hits instead of just you know rushing in. Uh, it's pretty bad I'll, I'll put him at I'll put him at B but behind the infantry I feel like these infantry will probably beat him to be honest with you no this guy will not beat him because this guy he'll die by the javelins he has no way to block the javelins so he's gonna drop down to C and this guy might be getting dropped down to E this, hey let's, listen this tier list is getting kind of crazy it is what it is uh, Batania Oswarm, let's see, let's see. We gotta kind of speed up too, because it's gonna be a long video. People are gonna complain. Uh, extremely good armor. Heavy armor, very good. He has a pole arm, uh, okay, very cool. Large shield, a one handed and throwing, so he's an all rounder. How's the, uh, everything else looking? Pole arm, one handed athletics is very good. Okay, so he's cool. He's like a normal infantry, he's not like anything crazy. Uh, I'll put him like right there. C plus. Uh, Veteran Falksman. What is this? He has a pole arm and two throwing axes. But nothing else. He has kind of like about heavy armor just about. Athletics is great though. Two hand is okay. Throwing is pretty good and pole arm is pretty good. But he has like no shield and just a pole arm. Well, that's kind of yikes. All right, we're gonna put him in the E category. It is what it is. Uh... No, I think the archer is kind of better to have in this situation than him. The bad name, Wildling. I have a lot of experience with this guy. I love this guy actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. Athletics great. One handed great. Uh, let's go. Throwing greats. Two handed greats. He starts with a. One-handed, pretty large shield, and also throwing, I mean, javelins in two stacks. Instead of, like, because the, the horseman only had uh, one stack. He has two stacks of them. So, ten in total. Kind of medium armor, so he's pretty fast with the two. But his shield is huge. So, he's really good. I really like him, personally. Um, Might be a little biased, but uh, I think he's up there. I think he's up there. Uh, next, the Imperial Boo 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 Si Boo si. Listen, 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 listen. Let's find it. Uh, Boo Salari. There it is. This guy, he's kind of a menace. Uh, bow 140, uh, riding 120, athletics 100, one handed 130 as well. That's pretty cool. Got a charger, pretty fast. Okay. Armor, pretty heavy. Medium heavy, yeah, yeah, but pretty heavy. No, actually pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Um, 
A recurve bow, tier four. A tier one? Arrow? Gross. Jesus. Okay, wow. Tier one arrow. Oh, man. Oh, yikes. He's still, he's still a mounted archer. Mounted archers are kind of nasty. But he's going to be in the B category. That's kind of crazy. Tier 1, he does barely any damage, really. Yeah, he does barely any damage. I don't think he beats the Wildling, really. Because the Wildling, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He has the larger shield. And even if... Okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, next, we have the Imperial Cataphract. This guy, this guy, this guy is a... I said the last guy was a beast, but this guy is a beast. Where is he at? Are we looking at the tier 6 one over here? We're looking at the tier 6 one over here. This guy is insanity. Insanity. Heaviest of heavy armor. Like, he is kitted out. His horse. Jesus. Really good. Just everything about him. He has a good one-handed. 116 length on the one-handed. He's swinging that. He has a, a large shield. And he has a uh, lance. Which he... He does a lot of that running back and forth. And he, he he hits hard when he hits you. 200 riding. 200 one-handed. 260 polearm. Oh my god. He's S tier. Uh, is he better than the fine champion? He's beating the fine champion. I know it's it, 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 you. You hate to see it, but he's be he's beating the final champion. Uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna get hurt a little bit because you know the final champion is kind of crazy. But he's beating him. He is definitely beating him. Next year is the Imperial El Elite Mane 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 Malevolent. Malevolent. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mane. Vlyton, men of Lighton. Okay, okay. Uh, 130 athletics, 130 one handed, 130 pole arm. All right, it's all right. Uh, he has two pole arms. That's insanity. What in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> he has two pole arms and a one handed. This looks like a custom. Um, interesting. It's one shorter than the other. That's cool. Kind of medium, medium heavy armor, medium heavy armor around there. Uh, no shield at all, just a bunch of pole arms. Um, it looks like he's trying to trade one. He's gonna go down here, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh, next we have the Imperial Legionary. This bad boy right over here. So I'm thinking armor. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's pretty heavy. Armor's pretty heavy. You know, pole arm. Okay. A shield, large shield, and we got a one-handed. Okay, 130, 130, one-handed, one athletics, and then one pole arm. Pretty solid. He has a shield. He has a shield, so he's already better. He's he's ready up there. I'll put him, like, up here. Yeah, I'll put him up there. Okay, uh, next it was the Imperial Palatine Guard. Imperial Palatine Guard right over here. Okay, so tier 5, 140 ball, 130 athletics, 130 one-handed. Okay, what else do we got? Medium armor, that's all right. Uh, step war bow, okay. Tier four, it's no, not no long bow. Kind of sucks, low key. Uh, but tier three arrows. Well, I think you're better than the horse. Uh, no, you're still not better than the horse. But you're better. You're better than this archer. You're better than this archer. I'm giving archers kind of a bad bad rep, I think. So this guy could probably go down there. I think I'm playing with his name too because he's kind of tanky too. But he has no shield really. Yeah, we're going to go like that. Alright. Um, Next we have the Imperial Sergeant Crossbowman. Oh, here we go. Oh, crossbow. Jesus. Alright, listen. Tier 5. Uh, armor is looking medium. Looking pretty medium. Yep, looking pretty medium. Uh, crossbow, obviously pretty strong. One set of bolts, 18. By the time you reload that, there's no way you're even going to get all 18 before you die. 
and uh, one a one handed and a shield. Pretty solid unit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. One hand and a shield uh, kind of carries it. Um, still a crossbowman though, but eh, pretty good. He's beating these guys. He's even beating the palace guard. The palace guard. Uh, okay, listen. Yeah, okay, listen, it's going all back and forth, but I'm trying to think of, like, the matchups they could have, you know what I mean? And who would win in the matchups. Next, we have the Kazay Darken. All right. There he is. So he, um... Okay, okay, so he doesn't actually have... Okay, so he's not that guy. He's an infantry, okay. I've never, I've never really played with these guys too much. I've never, I've never went to the Kazates and said, you know what, let me get infantry. I've never went that route. I'll be honest. Uh, throw, wait, throwing spear, okay, shield and a one-handed saber. Sabers kind of go hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. One twelve length, not bad. Armor, pretty heavy. Yeah, pretty heavy. Except the, except the boots. Literally just. Pretty cheap boots. Uh, 130 legs, 131 handle, uh, 130 pull arm. Um, he has the shield, so he's going up there. Uh, next we have the Kazay Heavy Horse Archer. Uh, heavy Horse Archer, there he is. Okay, tier five. 130 ball, 130 right, 131 handed. All right, that's not bad, not bad. What do we got? We got medium armor. We, we, yep, literally medium armor. Medium light, actually. No, just medium. We'll call it medium. Um, pretty good horse. Because they always have good horses. We have the recurve bow, tier four. And tier two arrows. Okay, and then a saber as well. Um, well, he's better than this guy. He's better than him. Hmm, yeah, that looks good. But, uh... I'm thinking giving him too much credit because I kind of like him. Uh, next we have the Kazay Heavy Lancer. Kazay Heavy Lancer. Alright, uh, what do we got? What do we got? Tier 5. We got a Lance. Alright. A Shield and a One-Handed. Not bad. Pretty heavy armor. No, heavy until, until it gets to his arms and to his uh, boots. So I'll, I'll do medium heavy. 150 riding, 130 one-handed, and 130 uh, pole arm. He has the ability to keep riding around, so I think that's important. Wait, hold on. Is this throwing pole arms? No, it's a lance. I'm tripping. Um, he's probably up there. He's probably up there. Uh, he's probably up there, yeah. Uh, Kazay Khan's guard. Where is he at? Can I get him from here? There he is. Khan's guard. This is a tier six. All right. Uh, heavy armor. Yep, heavy armor. Except the legs again in, in that. Um, good horse. Tier 4 bow, tier 2 arrows, and also a pole arm, the swinging type, which makes it really, really good when he's close to like a lot of uh, units. It's another S tier. He's better. He 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 still beats the final champion, unfortunately. He does. His speed, yeah. And if he gets close to the final champion, I think he can swing that before the final champion he can get his axe out. I'll be honest with you. Um, and he has the speed to beat the final champion. Yep. But he does lose to the elite cataphract still. They have the Kazate Marksman. And there we go. That is a tier 5. 130, 130, 130 for bow, athletics, and one handed. Cool. Uh, two arrows, tier 2. Recur bow. Okay, it's alright. Uh, medium, medium armor, really. And then a one handed, but also no shield at all. Okay, so he's just a basic archer, so we could kind of put him like, yeah. 
I would since we need an I think we need an F. I think we need to make a, a balanced list. I think I think the Falksman. Let me let me go right back to the Batan Falksman. Because I uh, listen, we need an F. Um What did he have? He had the pole arm and the two throwing axes. And like But still medium to heavy armor. But these guys, these guys, I think they they would they would kind of mow him down before he even gets close to them. I think so. Okay, what about the malevolence? Okay, listen, I'm kind of going back. I'm I'm backtracking. I'm backtracking. I'm trying to get this right. Okay, what distinguished him? Not really much. It's kind of in the same category. Oh, now we got to fill out the D's. Jesus. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. It's way more balanced. It's way more balanced. Okay. There it is. Uh, now we have the Sturgeon Druznik Champion. Uh, there he is. Tier 6. Uh, okay. Very heavy armor. Very heavy armor. Good horse. Alright, horse. Um, pole arm. One-handed pole arm, though. Not a two-handed. A large shield. Heavy. And then a one-handed sword. They're not bad, but they're not, like, the best. I feel like... <laughs> They're, they're, they're over here in A. Yeah, but they're a high A. They're definitely the highest A. Yeah. Then we have the Sturgeon Heavy uh, Axeman. There he is. Tier 5, 130, 130, 130. Throwing Athletics one-handed. Okay, cool. Pretty heavy armor. Yeah, definitely. He has a large shield. That's that's very good. And throwing axes, two of them. So he resembles the um, the bandit leader. Bandit leader is actually kind of good. Um, he's he's amongst these guys right over here. I think all the other beat this skirmisher guy. All these guys. No, throwing axes get thrown faster. So he kind of he kind of takes the cake. Yeah. Next, uh, oh, no, it's the wrong one. Sturgeon heavy spearman. All right, all right. What do we got here? Tier five. Okay, one handed. Not bad. Spear and a shield. Pretty big shield again. Heavy armor. Okay, looks good. 140 one hand, 140 pole arm, 125 athletics. Okay, they're all right. They're all right. Um, he's up there. He's up there. I'll put him in between there. Yeah, he's definitely up there. Next up is the uh, heroic line breaker, the Sturgeon heroic line breaker, right over here. Uh, we got a two-handed weapon, an axe, and throwing axes, and also a one-handed sword, which is kind of weird. I guess when he gets really, really close, makes sense. Tier 5. Uh, again, very, very heavy armor. Eh. No, kind of medium heavy, actually. Not the heaviest armor. Uh, 150 athletics, 150 uh, two-handed, and 130 throwing. So he's the fastest out of all of them. Okay. Um, uh, I might have to put these two guys over here. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to put him over there. Okay, but then we have the Sturgeon Horse Raider. There he is. Tier 5, good beard. Uh, pole arm, one-handed. A large shield, javelin, and an axe as well. Axe kind of sucks, like I said before. But he has the pole arm, which is pretty good. Uh, armor, medium heavy again. 
Okay, uh, 130 riding, 131 handing, 130 throwing. He's kind of in the same situation as this guy. He's like a B plus. Yeah. I think I'm playing with these guys' names a little bit. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Next we have is the Sturgeon Veteran Bowen. We have eight left, no, seven left. Sturgeon Veteran Bowman. It's a long video. For everyone who enjoys it, you know what I mean? I appreciate it. Uh, Veteran Bowman, there it is. Uh, okay, 140 bow, 130 bow, tier 5, 121 handed. Okay, got a short bow, kind of trash. Tier 3, oh, tier 1 arrows, gross, and an axe. Armors, medium, heavy, just about. Uh, you will go, I think he's one of the better ones, but he's still down here, really. I'm playing with Archer's names, aren't I? Maybe. Am I? Archers are still better than most infantry, really. I think I, I think I'm giving him a little bit too much uh, respect. I might be. But these guys, these guys are heavily armored and they're pretty fast, so they kind of are a little bit better. Huh. But no, no, they would, they would, they would kind of lose to them still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen, don't, don't, hey, listen, don't judge my uh, capabilities. I'm trying to, you know, think of every single possible scenario in my head. I'm playing that mini uh, game fighter where it's like, you know, the battle simulator. They get placed in there. You know, the YouTube videos. 50 of these guys versus 100 of these guys. Who's going to win? Dun, 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 dun. It's all going through my head right now. I'm just, I'm thinking of every scenario, all right? And it's like... I don't even want to check. I don't even want to check my thermostat. I think it's like 80, 87 or something like that. Last time I checked, I'm burning up. We gotta finish this though. Vlanian Banner Knights is next. All right. Uh... Wait, do I not see it? Vlanian Banner Knights. That's in the, um, no, that's in the other one. No, where's the, um, there it is. There you go. So this is a tier six. Okay. Armor going crazy. Dripped out. Crazy. All right. Pretty good. Good horse. Uh, pole arm. Very good. Pole arm. Uh, one handed 113 length. Okay. It's pretty kitted out. Um, I would say this goes in this category. He's with these guys, definitely. He might be up here, actually. Yeah. I think all these guys would beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have the Vlenia Pikeman. All right. 130 athletics, 130 two-handed, 130 pole arm. Tier 5, just a pole arm and a one-handed, no throwing, no nothing. Pretty heavy armor though, medium heavy armor. Uh, not great. No shield either. Yikes. Better armor than these guys. But no, they have kind of like throwing stuff too, don't they? This guy has throwing stuff. This guy just has all the different, um, like the different weapons. Yeah, that could be up there. Uh, we have the Vlandian Surgeon. All right. Uh, tier 5. Pretty uh, medium heavy armor. Medium heavy armor. Medium heavy armor plus. Large shield. A mace. That's cool. Um, it gives you more prisoners. But usually it doesn't do as much damage. Uh, then we have the spear. Okay. One-handed pole arm. 130, 130, 130, athletics, one-handed, pole arm. No shield though, right? No, he has a shield, he has a shield. He's amongst these guys. I think he's there. He's definitely there. 
I'm not going to make too much of a fuss who's a little bit better, but he's definitely up there. Uh, next is the Vlanian Sharpshooter. There he is, the other crossbowman. Uh, okay. Medium heavy armor. One-handed sword. Tier 5 bolts, crazy. Tier 6 crossbow, Jesus. And a large shield, too. 130, 130, 130, crossbow, one-handed, two-handed. He's actually going to go kind of high up. I'm not going to lie to you. Hold on. Yeah, tier 5 and tier 6 bow is kind of crazy. He's, he's, he's... I can see him taking out this uh, mounted, mounted skirmisher. And probably taking these guys out too. He might be up there. He might be up there. I'm not going to lie to you. But then I'm kind of like, this guy might be higher up too. What makes this guy better? He has the longbow, doesn't he? Or am I tripping? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I could have messed this up. Uh... No, he had a step warbo as well. Huh. Listen, listen, listen. But it's like if we did a 1v1 versus these guys, would these guys reach these guys before they actually, um, you know, kill them? That's the question. That's the question. Ha! <sighs> There has to be a D class though. Okay, listen, 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 listen. These guys have throwing. He doesn't. Okay? These guys will probably beat these guys. But they're all kind of like the same archer, but he's like the best one. He's the one I always get destroyed by the most. Alright, moving on. Vlandy and Vanguard! Uh, where is it at? There he is, my big boy. 130, 130, 130, riding, pole arm, one-handed. I think it's the same thing. Probably medium, heavy armor. Yep, looking like it. Another lance and another one-handed sword. He is up here with the greats. Probably like right there. And we got the Vlanian Volgir as the last guy right over here. We got pole arm, one-handed, and throwing. No shield. But he has a swing. He has a swing weapon, which is pretty cool. It's a little bonus points. Uh, about medium armor, just about. Uh, I'll put him above those guys because he has a swinging weapon. There it is. Oh my goodness, what a video! Down near forty minutes. Wow. If you watched the whole thing, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. But there it is. I'm gonna go turn on my fan now and go sit right in front of it. Oh, wow. I feel like I've been in the sauna. But uh, those are my picks. Let me know what you think. Let me know if what you agree with, what you don't agree with. I'm pretty sure if I sat here for another 30 minutes, I'd probably change my mind on a lot of these. But I'm going to just set this in stone. Um, I'm right. You're wrong. It happens. Just uh, accept defeat. All right? I'll see you guys in the next one.